Hey everybody, today we're talking about one of my favorite experiments of all time, Nico Tinbergen's classic study on orientation in digger wasps. Sit back, relax, and I'll show you how to really ruin a wasp's day the ethical way. Stay tuned. Before we get into today's shenanigans, hit the like button and consider subscribing. It really helps us grow our channel. Now let's prank some wasps. Nico Tinbergen was a highly influential ethologist. Ethology is the branch of biology related to the study of behavior, which is naturally closely related to the fields of comparative psychology and learning. Tinbergen is one of the all-time most famous early ethologists and shares a Nobel Prize for his work with Conrad Lorenz and Carl von Frisch. He studied behavior in animals of all kinds, from geese to fish to, you guessed it, wasps. Tinbergen was interested in how stimuli in the environment came to control behavior. Why does a three-spined stickleback court a female only if he has first built a nest? How does a goose know which overhead silhouette means danger? How does a wasp go out and forage for food all over the place, but still manage to find its way back to the nest reliably? This last question is the question for today. How does an insect with a simple nervous system, about a million neurons compared to our 90 billion or so, that's a factor of 100,000 times, how do they manage to accomplish this complex feat of navigation? Every time they fly, they go in a different direction with different visual stimuli and different angles. Weather and time of day can change and so on. So what is it they use to help them remember how to find the nest? To explore this, Tinbergen conducted a simple experiment. First, he found a wasp burrow. The digger wasps he was studying, Philanthus triangulum, make burrows in the ground. And they go out and they catch some bugs. They bring them back to the nest to feed the babies. Like most hybenopterans, that's the fancy word for bees, ants, and wasps, the female wasps do basically all of the work, so the foragers are female. So when she leaves the nest, she takes a few circular orientation laps and then flies off to go get food. Tinbergen's idea was to place objects around the burrow, such as a ring of pine cones. He would wait for her to leave, taking her usual orientation flights before she zips off to find more food. And while she was gone, he would take all of the pine cones and move them carefully a few feet to the left, arranging them exactly as they were before. Then, and this part may be all in my head, but I want to imagine that this is how it went down, he stretched out on a lawn chair, cracked open a brewski, and waited. Eventually, the wasp came back. And the question is, what did she do? Did she go to the burrow, which hadn't moved? Or did she go to the pine cones, which had? The answer is, she went to the pine cones, landed right in the middle, and looked around like she was very confused and very lost. You just got pranked. Tinbergen did this many times with many different kinds of objects. Every different permutation of this experiment he could think of. Big and small circles, a big square, a square with little squares on it, cones that could be flipped upside down and embedded in the soil. He even tried using panels laced with pine scent to see if they used smell to guide their navigation. Spoiler alert, they didn't. So what can we take away from this experiment? A few things. One, if you swatted a bee or a wasp and it starts flying in circles, you're likely to think, ah, it's trying to attack me. Well, it may just be disoriented and trying to get reoriented. Or it's under the spell of bloodlust and won't stop until you're covered in stings. Either way, I tend to just leave them alone. Anyway. Two, we can see a cool model of how to determine how stimuli in the environment come to control or elicit behavior. By systematically manipulating the environment, you can find simple explanations for complex abilities. With a little creativity, anyone can be a science. After all, the difference between science and farting around is writing things down. Third, and most important, now you know what to do. So get out there and prank some wasps. All right, everybody, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe because our milkshakes bring all the psychology to the yard. And until next time, keep thinking.